Hey, what is up, YouTubers? It is Cody Kirpin in here from the YouTube channel Cody Knowles. And in this video, we are going to be covering part four of the Affiliate Marketing for Beginners case study, which is setting up a tracking link. If you plan to run Bing ads or Microsoft advertising to promote affiliate products, you have to, have to, have to have a tracking link. It is 100% necessary because you got to know where your sales are coming from, um, which keywords are doing good, which keywords are doing bad, um, which ads are doing good, etc. It makes sense to track. You must track when you're doing affiliate marketing. And one of the best trackers that I have used and one of the best trackers for affiliate marketers, especially beginner affiliate marketers, is ClickMagic. Um, one, it's because they have a very fast support team. Um, number two, it's very affordable. It's like 27 bucks a month. But number three, there's a free trial. There's a two-week free trial to uh, use Click Magic, And then number four, they have a very great knowledge base uh, full of uh, very useful articles on how to set up tracking. And then if affiliates run into common mistakes, usually they have an article that shows you how to fix them. So ClickMagic is um, the best tracker for beginner affiliate marketers in my mind. And if you want to uh, sign up for a two week free trial, I will have a link in the description um, right below. And just a little bit of a disclaimer, this is my affiliate link. So I only promote products that I fully believe in and I fully believe in ClickMagic. So I am, um, I am an affiliate with them and the link below will take you to a website that will look like this and then you just click right here try click magic for free for 14 days and if you're using it and on day 13 you're thinking ah that's I don't really like this I don't want to pay 27 bucks a month tomorrow um, you can easily cancel but I don't think that will be the case because click magic is the real deal so that is my affiliate link in the description below. I want to be transparent about that. You can use it if you want. If you think, you know what, Cody, I don't want to sign up using your link. You're a jerk. Um, you can use another link. But if you're getting some value out of this case study, I would really appreciate it. And if you do use my link, you can reach out to me at any time if you have problems with uh, click magic tracking. So there's a little incentive for you. And moving on. So. Okay, so part two, we're going to cover how to add a tracking pixel into ClickBank. And to do this, you're gonna wanna go to the knowledge base, um, type in ClickBank, and then this first article, um, how do I set up a postback URL with ClickBank? I'm going to click on that, and then I'm going to click this link, and then it's on uh, ClickBank. Um, and then one more click, I know we're getting deep here, but this right here, how do I set up integrated sales reporting in ClickBank? This is the article, so I guess you could just uh, type that into the knowledge base search bar. But right here is uh, a very easy way, a uh, very great tutorial on, on how to set up your stuff. So I'm going to come over here. Um, I'm in vendor settings, my site. And like I said, I already had the ClickMagic stuff set up, but I'm going to go through it again for you. Uh, so the first one we're going to set up is a tracking pixel, and we are going to be tracking... Um, order form impressions as engagements. So if we come down here, um, this article will pre-populate the tracking code that you uh, need to use for this. So everyone's got a unique ID number. So this is mine. Um, don't use this link um, because you're not, your five digit number will be different and you have to use your own. All right, so I'm gonna come paste that in and we're going to track as an affiliate on the order form page. And then one thing, so we already covered part one, um, which is getting your unique um, engagement tracking URL and pasting that in right here. And we already did that and we chose affiliate and order form. So that's a check check. Um, part two of this whole thing is to just come in here and change the product type, uh, the product underscore title to ref. Um, and then everything else can stay the same. It is just this right here that needs to change. Um, so we're gonna go and do that. Product title, scroll down, oops. And just type in ref. And then I will save. And that's as simple as it is. Um, it, right away it will be inactive. 
um, but we'll we'll go back to that so I'm gonna do it one more time because now that we got that set up um, now we got to set it up for the sales pixel and they also have videos on this too so we'll do this whole thing again and keep in mind that this sales tracking pixel is not the same as engagement because of this right here the slash right after API is S that stands for sales and for the engagement it was E so don't use the same one I'm going to grab that and we're gonna go tracking pixel then I'll just paste it in take out any spaces and then we're gonna track as an affiliate and we are going to fire this on the confirmation page and for this we have to um, change two things instead of one um, so part one we just finished that um, we got the unique sales tracking pixel which is different than the engagement tracking pixel so that is very important then we chose affiliate confirmation page now part two of this whole thing is to set the product title to ref and then the affiliate underscore commission value to AMT which stands for amount and this will fire back the sit the actual uh, commission that you received ref and amount so I'm going to come over here one more sec product title we'll do that affiliate commission AMT all right everything looks good ref and T all right and then I'll save and then if you guys are following along we got one more step and that is just to come down here and click enable tracking code I'm not going to do that because like I said before I already have them set up right here but if you see the yellow inactive all you got to do is click right there and it'll look like that so I just activated it um, and I'll guess I'll do it here too again just to show you okay so we got these set up I'm just gonna go ahead and delete these just so we don't run into any troubles when we're testing um, like I said it can be a little confusing um, you can just feel free to rewatch this if you get caught up um, so we added the pixel to Clickbank and now we can create a tracking link with click magic So I'm going to come in here and just click create a new link And I'm going to label this So I just labeled it dog training uh, CB which stands for Clickbank and then DL for direct link and then you have to enter a link slug here And I'll just write dog training. I'm um, actually dog training new uh, and then the primary URL this is where we paste in our affiliate link so I'm gonna I'm gonna head to marketplace um, go to home and garden and here it is and I'm just gonna quickly generate a hop link and copy that so that is my unique affiliate link uh, come over here and then just paste it in okay cool beans now I'm going to create the, the link and now we can take this um, and test it out. So we just created our tracking link. You saw how simple that was. And the last step is just to test. And now we'll be able to see if the um, um, engagement pixel will fire if we go through the tracking link and then go to the order form. All you gotta do is take this and click go to. And it'll bring you here to brain training for dogs. And then we know everything's set up good because it's got the hop link equals ebook crook and that is my account I'm going to scroll down and click instant access so now we're on the order form so we if we set everything up the right way we should have one unique click on our click magic stats and then one engagement pixel fired so I'm gonna come over here um, and just refresh right here so everything worked that's great to see and uh, since that worked if we actually did do a uh, checkout if we uh, bought this product we would land on the confirmation page and then we would see a sale here that is one and then um, the amount 
So we got our tracking link set up the right way. We just tested it. Um, so we can check that off. So, so just a quick recap. We signed up for a free trial with ClickMagic. We added the uh, engagement tracking pixel and the conversion tracking pixel to ClickBank. Um, we created our tracking link and then we tested out the tracking link to see if we would get a unique click and an engagement and all that worked. So that is it. That's how easy it is to set up a tracking pixel um, using ClickMagic with uh, ClickBank. And that is it for part four of this case study. If you guys aren't subscribed to this value-packed YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to stay up to date with all my future videos. And don't forget to keep your eye out for part five of this case study video. So that's all for this one. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.